Hey YouTube, Mewtwo here with another um, Top 3 Tuesday response video. I'm sure you know the drill by now, so time to just get straight on into it. This week's question was provided by the Classic Game, sorry, the Classic Metal Fan 22, and he asked, what three games would you use to um, kind of sell someone on the system? And the reason why I'm saying it like that is because there had been a question that was a bit similar a few weeks back about uh, what three games made you want to own a system. So I w I'm taking this one from more the angle of, hey, I'm going to check these games out in the system. I think they'd make you want to own a type of thing. I think that gives it a bit of a difference. Now, last time around, I did SNES. If I'm being totally honest, I could just say, go watch the last video because those three picks will do. But this time, no, I'll do something different. The one system that I suppose people would have expected me to do, and that's Sega Master System. And yeah, so many games I could pick, and I feel that with a system that's kind of underappreciated, you want to show it off, you want to get people to, to take interest, and the pressure is on to, to highlight it. So, how do you do it justice? Well, a few rules. One, I'm going to pick common games that are fairly cheap, so that people can easily get them and not rare games. Two, I want to do stuff that kind of both shows off the capability, and how the games were good fun. And three, I've forgotten three, so I just got on with it. Now, um, there are a few kind of games like honorable mentions and Alex Kidd, superb game. I would say just up there with, with the Mario game, you know, Super Mario Bros. certainly is inventive, a lot of multi-way scrolling and so on. It was pretty much in every console, and as good as it is, it does take a little time to appreciate. It's a bit unforgiving, and the janking matches do turn people off. So that was left aside. Second um, honorable mention, Sonic the Hedgehog. That game is an absolute classic on the system, and it is just as good, if not better, than the Mega Drive version. But most people just initially take, when they play it, they think, well, this is just a dumbed down port. So that for that reason, it doesn't kind of necessarily sell the system. You have to be willing to kind of get into it. Um, it doesn't take much, but it just there's that little bit at the beginning. And number three then, it's Fantasy Star. I don't own it, but if you want an 8-bit RPG, you would do a lot worse than try Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star. It is easily, I would say, the best of the, of its kind of breed. So, honorable mentions out of the way, let's go on to top three picks. In number three is a game that I think highlights the system's capability on a technical level and shows how it was a lot more advanced than perhaps it, people might have thought, and that is Mortal Kombat. Now this is by no means my favourite game, I'm not even going to say that it's a superb game or anything like that, but it is Mortal Kombat, and if you can see the back of the screenshots, I'm not too sure how clear they're going to be, it's actually a fairly good port. Now, to put into perspective, the 16-bit consoles, they struggled with Mortal Kombat, to, to be blunt. So the Master System, an 8-bit system, should have had no right in the world to run this game. And yet it did, and it, it held down, it really did, you know, I mean, most of the characters are there, the sprites are decently sized, um, you have a, most of the moves, it's okay, it's not as fluid, some of the hidden stuff and whatnot is taken out, but it's 8-bit it's Mortal Kombat, and it's, it's respectable. If nothing else, this highlights how the Master System was still punching above its weight late into the 16-bit era, and that's that deserves some sort of notice. So, number two though, one thing we'll say about the 8-bit era, or at least I would say, it does, you know, takes simple concepts, executes them well. That's where you have your classic games. And you can't get more classic than that than the Ninja. Simple game, it's basically your commando style shooting type of game starring a ninja, but it's very inventive, it's very colourful, nicely presented, and most of all, it's just executed well. I could go on and on about this game, but I won't. I've done a gameplay, check it out, but if, if you really want to see the game done well and um, have someone, you know, express its virtues better than I can, it's Ninja Bear Hug. I'll put a link to his, um, his complete walkthrough in the SMS Quest, and that's also a plug for the SMS Quest. Go check it out. Ninja, that's good. Number one then. Now, this is not even a shadow of a, of a doubt what this is. Every system needs kind of their big opus titles. And for me, and I know this is my personal opinion, but I think a lot of people would cherish. It's Wonder Boy 3. This is easily as good as any of your Mario's, Metroid, and so on on, on the NES. Any of the kind of contemporary classics. Um, it's incredibly well presented, great graphics, great audio, something you don't necessarily always say about the Master System, and above all the game, gameplay is top notch, responsive, fluid controls, good action, with, with more than just like the, some of the earlier Wonder Boy games where it was, it was a bit primitive, this has got depth, and at the same stage it's not so deep that it falls too heavy into RPGism, 
it's it's just a good not good strike that it's a superb action adventure so that's my number one pick and to be honest i could nearly put that i i have i think i've mentioned this in the past i'll mention it again it just is that good so there we go there's my top three mortal combat a technical powerhouse for the system late in the day the ninja great showcase for for executing a simple concept really well and then a system magnus opus to, to kind of push it over the top thanks to ed as always for for providing the top three seems to be really good, gaining a lot of traction at the moment some real good questions and videos recently um, thanks to you of course for watching always appreciate it and um, we appreciate all the comments and feedback and so on and always click to subscribe now i'll be back shortly with videos and if you're interested, I'll probably be doing some sort of Euro 2012 feature. Not entirely sure how it's going to pan out yet. I'm guessing some sort of gameplay things. That should be up shortly up on my channel. So, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.